I'm going to keep trying till they do me right over here. So uh, now I'm opened up on Google Chrome. I was just on Firefox. Major conflict there. I still am on Firefox just to put out a couple links. Unfortunately, I just put one out. That was no good. Hopefully, the shit will behave just for long enough for me to close Firefox down after I get rid of my links here. See, I have five browsers dedicated to all different websites, and Firefox happens to have my Facebook right now. So I have really great musical vibe happening if I can make my computer work long enough to tell people about it and then start to play for you guys because I really like to post that I'm playing live or what's the use of having 4,000 friends? A bunch of the friends are in the field of work that I'm in playing music meditative therapy. <sighs> Major browser issues on the Firefox and I can't even I can't even run Firefox long enough to close this. Ah. Come on man, help me here. Not you people. Just the great spirit of frequency on this Fibonacci Friday. In a moment, I'm in the middle of uh, doing a couple posts so I can get rid of my Firefox browser and maybe we'll be good for the jam. Tried to play earlier tonight, thing kept cutting off.
is so being taxed right now. And it shouldn't be, but good lord, if anyone in the Atlanta area is watching and knows anything about working on frickin' Max, please help me. This is just maddening, awful crap to have to go through when I all I have is the urge to want to sail the soundscape stratosphere. Just scrolling 16 inches on a page takes me like 45 seconds when my computer's behaving this way. And all I have to do is close Firefox, but never mind. I'm just a brief moment away, perhaps, from wonderful extended jam. And some surprises coming up today. Almost out of this browser now, we're close. I explain this every time, but for those of you who don't know, I'm making like 12 different posts right now. And when your browser's glitchy because it hates Firefox and you now at the same time, Yeah, um, I can run Photo Booth, I can run my camera, I can run Skype and Firefox, but as soon as I turn on you now with Firefox, hell breaks loose. And I clean my cash, I do what I'm supposed to do. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Anna. Good to see you this morning, Anna. Um, I just now saw the room for the first time, as you might tell. A couple more links to go. I tried this all last night, starting before midnight. And you now crashed on me a few times. So I said, fuck it, and took a nap. Um... But I think it's working now. Couple more posts to go. I know I need to turn up perhaps the mic in the room. And I'm getting to that. Alright, there's my torch browser and my opera browsers. And here's my safari, and then I'm free. My back's pretty good, but I do have to treat it tenderly. I'm pretty sure I have a sustained uh, chiropractic uh, necessity to work on, definitely. Um, but I treat it carefully. Some lower lumbar stuff and some rib kind of stuff. I had two ribs dislocated one time after uh, 
playing at a festival. And I'd loaded my stuff on the stage in the morning, like Saturday morning, Sunday morning after being up all night and playing in a drum jam and running around and carrying all this equipment down a hill from as far as my truck was away from the stage and uh, setting it all up and playing a three hour show and then getting it all off the stage and one of the last things I did was have to push this big cabinet uphill inside of my truck to uh, slide it into place and when I did that it, it did something to my back to made it make it so hard for me to breathe I couldn't even go and pick like a 30 pound bag up off the stage and I got one of my hurting friends who, came, who woke up in the morning it's like noon I'm like man can you carry this 40 pound bag it's pretty heavy and he did not want to have to do that at all and he did it for me and uh, we had a chiropractor on site at the festival and this this novice chiropractor checked me out and she said, well, you've got, a, you've got a rib out of place or two ribs out of place maybe. And, and then I sat down and waited for the, uh, the expert to do me and he said, oh, you got three ribs out of place. And man, he snapped those things and I don't know how you put ribs out of place, but uh, that's what I did because of my thin frame. He put them back in place and it hurt at that moment, but I was just, I was, I had life again. I was able to breathe, I could walk around, I could bend over, pick things up. It was great. Anyway, I'm great now. I think I've got all my browsers shut down. And so far... So far... Chrome is acting okay. Well, thank you, Tiffany and Aaron. Yeah, you're right. First aid med tent when we have our big parties in the woods sometimes. <laughs> and that chiropractor's busy all day long.
from the inside Then a beam made of light hit the ground of imagination through the doors to the world of another time and from the journey of a thousand lifetimes with the children of the sun they started to collide
humid day here in Georgia. Let children of the sun, sun let children of the sun shine divine. Woo! That was fun. Second time I've ever tried that song, and no, I can't play piano, but I can make keyboard noises now and then. Woohoo! Wow. Yeah, I didn't get to see any of chat. I just now got to scroll. So I think that was my sound check. Coming in in about an hour and five or six minutes. The first ten minutes was maybe spent sending some links here and there. I did them pretty fast this time, but yeah. Um, I thought about doing that song just as I picked up my guitar to do this broadcast. I'm like, you know... I feel like I have that vibe tonight, today, this morning. No more gravity. I'll get it down one of these days. It was fun the way it was though. Lord, oh my lord, yeah, it's really hot and humid now. There's another kind of hot when the sun's out, so I should be thankful that it's overcast. Hope everybody's having a celestial morning. Namaste. Why did I get the piano? Really? It's a synthesizer. It's not a piano. You notice it's sitting on a table. It does have piano sounds, but those, those are the least among them. I do love piano sounds. And I can play piano, but you see, if I spend 12 hours a day playing piano, then my guitar playing will suck. You see how that works? Both of them take enormous amounts of time to be very good at. And I love amazing music, and I can hear runs that I cannot play. So that gets really frustrating. But what I can do is sit down and produce songs and play little violin parts and whatever banjo parts or steel drums or whatever. It doesn't matter. I can just, I bought it because it's a wealth of sounds. Plus you can use it as a MIDI programmer and I can run my guitar through it and I can play it through Ableton and I can have it trigger samples and stuff whenever somebody teaches me how to do that shit. So yeah, Mr. Games ABC. It's good to have as many instruments around as you can, and then maybe you'll end up playing them. You cannot play them if you do not have them around. I have learned this. Yep, and the keyboard is so easy to help me find the key and the act. Yeah, sometimes when I, when I can't get something on guitar, a keyboard totally helps spell it out for me. <laughs> Why do you have a keyboard? Well, I have a set of golf clubs too, but uh, you know, I'm not a golf pro. I've got a compass, but I'm not an architect. I've got I've got repelling rope, but I don't repel. Let me see. What other ways am I a walking contradiction? I have piano, but I'm not Ling Ling. No, wait a minute. Ying Ying, what's the guy's name? There's a guy that plays guitar, I mean, that plays piano like phenomenally. Uh, was a YouTube sensation a little while ago. It's hard to know who the classical geniuses are. To me, Hiromi Uhara is a, the keyboard genius of the day, but no one knows who she is. But if you Google this young lady from I think she's from western, northwestern Japan. You will find one of the most gifted jazz improvisational 
the psychedelic keyboard players ever. She doesn't play a synthesizer so well, but everything she does, she exp she basically does on an amazing uh, just piano. So if you like piano, you you Google her, and then you'll see why I don't play piano. Like, what is the use? I'll just listen to her. I heard her one day while I was driving. I was in the middle of doing a job. I wasn't fully doing it. I was um, getting the specs and stuff ready, getting all the materials ready. Actually, I decided to anyway. Instead of go back and work, I was just going to be all ready to work the next day because I had some complications in the middle of the job. So on my way to the hardware store, I hear this Hiromi Uhara woman on the radio. And I had to sit in the parking lot of that hardware store for like the next 10 minutes till the song ended. And she had like a three-piece band. Ah, it was four. Her, keys, guitar, and drums. I mean, her, bass, guitar, and drums. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I had to sit there and listen to that whole song, got her name. Actually thought I was interested in the guitar player, who who is... Uh, uh, Fuzinski, I think, is the guy's name from uh, Berkeley. Really, really stunning. But yeah, it was she. She lets her whole band solo. The bass player is phenomenal. Drummer is phenomenal. Guitar player is phenomenal. She lets her whole band solo first, and then she takes her solo and lays them in the dust every time. <laughs> It's pretty amazing. Chick Corea has her. Stanley Clark tours around with her. Uh, 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 Anthony Jackson, the other bass player. Anyway. Holy cow. Dulcimers are awesome. You got hammer dulcimers? You have the whole acoustic world music band, woman. I like that. Yeah, I had a friend at the Renaissance Fair. Wasn't a close friend, but I knew him, and I watched him all the time. Tipped him. Was relatively in love with his wife, but everyone was. She played 12-string guitar and sang like a goddess, and uh, he uh, played hammer dulcimer, and he played so fast, I've never heard notes actually played that fast and right. I even asked him if he had a, I said, you have an engineer's degree, don't you? He said, yeah, but what does that have to do with my music? So I'm just saying, you have a comprehension for, for an amount of notes that, you know, most humans are not capable of, my friend. You can really play fast on those hammer dulcimers. Holy bejesus. Well, cool. I'm sure they sound great too, but we got to get a hammer dulcimer. Those things are like wisps of angels flitting through clouds playing hide and go seek or tag or something. It's amazing. Oh, wow. I'm glad you made it back. I forgot. Maybe you were in here. I'm glad you caught. Did you catch the children of the sun? We were talking about uh, uh, center. What, what did you use? What, what term for centering your cerebellum or cerebral something or another? I thought it was a great term back in the other broadcast. So uh, I was hoping to do that a little bit with the Children of the Sun. I know yours is not a hammer type. That's why I said you have to get one of those too. And I'm sure yours play great. I know you cannot use a hammer on a regular dulcimer. That's wrong. <laughs> well, you can, but be very gentle. Cerebral cleansing, yes. How was the Children of the Sun on the cerebral cleansing category? I did that song about two weeks ago, maybe three. 
and I think I did it in D. This time I did it in C. It was in the heart chakra. But yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you stuck around. Have a great day at the salt mines, my friend. Yeah, listen to Billy Thorpe's version. <laughs> that rocks. I'm like, man, I gotta get some effects on this baby. I gotta. I need. I need one. An oscillator or something. I gotta get some electronic effects. I can beef that sound right the fuck up. But anyway, let me stop talking like a degenerate and come back to the well-centered life being that I am. And have a great day at work, my friend. Stay lad, pleasure, one-handed namaste. in a kazoo no band is complete cowbell you got cowbell because we need more of that <laughs>
40,000 men and women every day 40,000 men and women every day Another 40,000 coming every day Be like they are Come on baby, don't fear the reaper
disappeared The curtains flew and then he appeared Saying don't be afraid Come on baby And she had no fear She ran to They started to fly Went backward and said she tried me Come like they are She had taken his hand She had become like they are She had taken his hand
Sorry about all that noise. I think Blue Oyster Cult made more noise when they did it, though, but that's as, that's as much noise as I think I should make on a Friday morning. <laughs> the best he ever heard. <laughs> yes. All right, I have two Swedish fans. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Bergman. I think... But that might be the first time I've done Don't Fear the Reaper. It's the first time I've ever actually sang all the lyrics because I had them in front of me. And uh, there's an actual really special thing. There's a part at the end of that song that I kind of hinted at that I'll, I'll have to learn one day. So is, uh, is he a fan of old rock and roll? Hello, Miranda. Hello again, Debs. Uh, Keiston, thanks for becoming a fan. Tyler, thank you for becoming a fan. Little break here. I have only been playing two hours, I know. Plus, I played another three and, three and a half hours or something in the middle of the night. This is my second show of the day. Oh, it's warm here. Oh, good for you, Miranda. It really helps. It's a good way to do nothing and feel like you're worthwhile, you know? There's something about that. <laughs> I say do nothing, because when you say, hey, I play guitar, but people say, yeah, but what's your real job? <laughs> Well, how well do you want me to play guitar? That is my real job. If I want to just be really mediocre, then, uh, yeah, I'll have one of those nine to fives. Now, if I had a nine to five playing guitar, that would really work out, wouldn't it? Great. Get over here and play on some of my keyboards. I need I need a little help. Oh, playing at school all day. Right on. That's a good school you go to. I wish I had gone to music school. Thought about getting a security guard job where you could just like, you know, sit in a little booth. Sit there with your guitar for six hours till a truck rolls up. Have them sign some papers. They drive on. You play some more another hour or two that would be a lot of fun probably a security guard in the middle of the night but I like it better playing for you now audiences in my 62nd straight day of broadcasting maybe my 61st it's getting confusing in any event it will be May 17th when I do my uh, 100th broadcast, if all goes well. My birthday's May 22nd. Bon Jovi, all right. You run with that. I'm a cowboy on a steel horse, I ride, wanted, dead or alive, wanted, dead or alive. I like She's My Little Runaway. He gets up higher than any other song that he sings, and She's My Little Runaway. I couldn't believe that was Bon Jovi doing that, man. He was way up there. I did just do Children of the Sun and Don't Fear the Reaper, but don't get any ideas to ask me to do a bunch of requests because I don't know any really. I just, I just lucked into those.
Yeah, I wish I was in music school sometimes too. Well, I went, but my favorite teacher quit, so I quit. <laughs> it was the only thing I really liked. He would, he, every Tuesday night, I'd just sit and watch Jimmy Herring. He's in widespread panic, plays with the Grateful Dead. But uh, he quit for another band. A really, really good band as well. With some of the best players on the face of the earth playing in it.
what you see beyond the ordinary door. How was all that LSD? And tell me, Sid, what did you explore? Indomitable, insurmountable, incomparable, Sid Barrett. Namaste, Sid. Bless your soul. Rest in peace. For the uh, founder and original guitar player for Pink Floyd.
Well, groovy people, I got to take off. Apparently, my sister's going to be here at 1 o'clock. She's coming from Raleigh. She's taking me and my dad out to uh, lunch, brunch, dinner-ish thingy. And I've had two great jams today. This is three hours and 33 minutes and 33 seconds. And uh, yeah, my dad misunderstood. He thought she was coming at like four. <laughs> so he's running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Put a cute little candle in the bathroom. But yeah, y'all rock, man. Thank you for, uh, thank you for helping me with uh, my energy today. It was a great morning. Last night was a little sketchy, but I tried hard. Got to try no matter what. Can't do it if you don't try. Then I just went back, went back to sleep. Even though I had plenty of sleep before that, I went back to sleep and woke up and said, yeah, now I can handle this stuff. Yeah, see, I'll be amazing. Uh, uh, you people, I'll, I'll make sure to have a fabulous day yourselves, and I will be chatting with you again soon. We'll talk to you soon, Anna. See you on Facebook, Debs, or here. Rossi, thank you for being my number one fan. Keiston, you rock. And all them other peoples that were in here talking to me and saying fabulous things. And I'm out of here. I'm glad you guys enjoyed yourselves. Peace, love. Oh, I would click out of myself, but there's this thing that says, I'm now 11th in musician, so I can't click the X. It goes right over the X. Lord. <laughs> love you. Bye-bye.